Hello again, it's Brittany aka Totally Lame Robot and this is the making of video of my Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Xbox case mod. So first I just sketched directly onto the Xbox case my plan, which was based on the trailer. I'm using Super Sculpey and I'm using the clay softener. And basically how the softener works, it's just to smooth everything out and make everything easier to work with. Now Super Sculpey is different from regular Sculpey. It's um, just better quality overall, basically. And it has this creepy flesh tone color, which is really actually weirding me out a little bit. <laughs> So I'm just slowly sculpting everything, making everything take shape, and when I actually put this in the oven to bake it, it was actually very tragic. It broke apart in some of the thinner pieces, and I actually had to put Bondo on it to seal it everything back up. The edges were all destroyed. It was awful, and I almost gave up at this point. But I decided to just spray it with some primer and see how it turned out. I had to sand everything down. I added some more parts to connect the broken pieces. It was awful. I was so upset because it was turning out great so far. So I sprayed it with some um, metallic hammered silver and I thought it was looking pretty cool at this point. So I'm adding a little bit more black shadows and everything and I'm basically trying to create more contrast. And after a little bit of work, I realized that it was too dark, there was not enough contrast, so I sprayed some gray primer over it again and decided that I was okay with it. So as you can see, I sketched on the little dragon emblem. I'm using a white paint marker, which is pretty much my new favorite thing. It's usually a lot harder to get things lighter than it is to get things darker, but the paint marker just works so well for this. And I'm also using a couple of grayscale markers to make it look more like a cast silvery emblem. And at the very end, I'm going to add a drop shadow on one side to make it look like it has a little bit more dimension to it. I changed this logo like a bajillion times. It was kind of getting on my nerves. I kept making it lighter and darker, and it was really frustrating. But at the end, I liked how it turned out. So the very last thing that I needed to do was obviously make the rest of the case mod. I didn't want to go too crazy on the rest of it, so I decided to make the faceplate very simple and just make the Roman numeral 5. I didn't think that I needed to, you know, spell out Skyrim or anything because you see the 5 and you know what it means. So I take this V off, pop it in the oven, spray the rest of the case, and there it is! So thank you for watching this video, I hope that you enjoyed it. There's also another video which shows the case in greater detail. If you want to take a better look at it, then click on that. I'll answer any questions if you have any, I'll try my best, and thank you very much guys, I'll see you later.